What's up everybody and welcome to Nora Reaction. Hello Sadika. Hello. We are back with Cold Chisel and uh, this is Iron Moss. Um, this is truly be amazing uh, songs uh, called uh, Georgia on my mind. And um, I don't know if this is a solo performance or what it is, uh, but uh, it's saying Iron Moss performs. So yeah, I don't know, but uh, it's still... Cold Chisel from Cold Chisel uh, concert. So I don't know if he's doing one solo song. I don't. Again, maybe it's like uh, when we saw the the other one. I can't remember. Was this that from Metallica? Yeah. Where yeah, Mega Def. Mega Def. Where Megadeth. he was alone. Yeah. 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 Maybe something like that again. Let us know in the comments. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like if you like our content, and of course, if you want to support us and also choose our next reaction. Because we are running out of Cold Chisel's uh, request. I can say that. That's it. We are, actually. Yeah. But um, you can choose our next reaction uh, and support us at the same time uh, on Patreon. There's a link in the description. And uh, with that being saying, let's go. This is a long one, actually. And um, a long, long, long. But it's, a, it's okay. So uh, so I'm curious. Because if this is a solo performance, seven minutes are long. Well, yeah. So uh, let's see. Oh, the last oh. time Cold Chisel did. But they was reunited. We have seen them later. Yeah. What?
And yet it's just an old sweet song Cause tonight I've got Georgia on my mind I was sure there was two more guitar solos and and, and stuff. You kidding me? That was, was that seven minutes? Wow. I mean, okay, we have the one minute introduction with from the the the, the camera main. Uh, but dude, really, two instruments as I could hear. It. I don't know if the bass was there, but um, four if you uh, if you take the voice. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Oh my god. Wow, Simon Smith. Okay. So now, thank you for that. Yes, thank you for that. Wow. We have only here one more song when the war is gone or over, what it was, uh, why we hear him sing, but Spanish come in and, and sing some high notes. Here we only hear him. Really nice. I really like his voice uh, and his performance. Uh, we what? need some seconds. What? We need some seconds. May the, maybe they're standing some more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's no. just... Like. No. no, but Don Walker, the keyboard player, as I read online, he was uh, the one who uh, wrote most of the, their songs and in this most of the famous uh, lyrics writer, uh, songwriter in um, Australia, as I know it. I thought it was Spanish, but actually I think it's him. And that's really funny because he's not singing that much, but he's 
he's a great uh, writer actually. Uh, I didn't knew that, and that's something I, I saw because I was curious about uh, Cold Chisel some time ago. So I re I still really like Cold Chisel. Cold Chisel. If I could go back and uh, again, it's also a hard question, but would I rather watch HDC Life uh, or Cold Chisel? But again, Cold Chisel just have so much. I really like that they have the piano uh, in the songs. Really, really like uh, because it can make so much more. Um, well, uh, no, what, what can you say? Um, uh, you you can you can change this. You can make it classic. You can make it more bluesy. You can make it rock and roll with the with that songs uh, sound. Uh, and, and that's exactly here. This is I will call this bluesy. I might be wrong, but uh, this is for me. This is very slow blues. Uh, I don't know what blues is, so I can't really. Like when we see Barnes' daughter, that was a blues song. Uh, is that blues? Yeah, blues. Uh, blues can be also Steve Ray Vaughan. Actually, also he's uh, like they say the good of of uh, blues, but that's on playing. But also when we talk about playing, his solo was really on point, and that's also that's also what Simon describes in the introduction. Uh, so shout out to Simon Smith for uh, as a young camera uh, guy to uh, pick this up and recording and share it to the world actually yeah it could be a hidden hidden gem it is a hidden gem it is a hidden gem but it could it could be still be hidden to this day yeah. if it wasn't for him um yeah if as i understand it it was a once in a lifetime yeah performance yeah amazing you just do it one but um this is the same concert as I remember it as uh, we saw Wild Thing. So this is funny if we're not doing Cold uh, request anymore because we don't have really many. Maybe we have one or two in between, but we have also reacted to a lot. But we started on this concert. Uh, I remember his uh, his shirt and I remember people saying this was the, the last concert they did. Yeah. But not really because they reunited, but... Uh, as a band, and uh, then there was a, a, a big break. The band is going solo and so, right? Um, and probably also the guitar player and, and Don Walker keep grinding his lyrics, I, I guess. Um, so, um, really, really, uh, yeah, you can also say there is no bass. So, this is Stuart Goriel. Oh, it's a, so, uh, lyrics isn't from the keyboard player, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, I see. Well, thank you for. Thank you, yeah. So, uh, but thank you so much for sharing that. That was really, really also what I and need. And thank you so much for the request. Yeah, also, yeah. This will be a song we wouldn't take ourselves because uh, when you see uh, Search for Coaches, this wouldn't probably come up uh, that much. Uh, so, also because the title is Iron Must Performs and stuff. So, I was a little skeptical about what is this, but this was really good. Mm. Uh, and what I mean by seven minutes was I we have only one solo and stuff. I was so hooked and so dedicated to the song, so time was really flying. Yeah. For me, seven minutes was nothing. I could I I could listen to one more long solo at least, and one more while he was speaking and stuff. Easy ten minutes of. Uh, it felt like two minutes or something. Yeah, that that was really a, a time killer. That song for me, uh, I didn't. I got lost into the song. Yeah. So that's why I was... I, I was... Honestly, I was surprised by it. Uh, because, uh, as I said at the beginning, seven minutes, one main and two main performing a song really has to be something else. Uh, otherwise, it can be a long performance to watch. Yeah. But um, I was really dedicated. It was hoped. a really, really good song. And a beautiful, too. Mm? Beautiful. Well, beautiful, and also his his uh, his pitch and the way he sing, uh, special the uh, some of the notes was really really good. Going up and down, also that what we call dynamic in the songs, and that's again shout out to uh, Don Walker on the keyboard because uh, on the piano, I think it was actually a piano to be real there. It wasn't a keyboard. What any, but anyways, shout out to him because his how hard he's pressing and how he uses. Uh, pedals and stuff it's really important here where when you have to be quiet you have to touch it you have uh, just so you know right this was really really good because sometimes it can be really hard to hear them in the cold title songs because they are really rock and roll and yeah it can be a little hidden right but here um 
der var sådan noget, uh, like, uh, question mark, where he was. He was there with uh, the base, like, left hand and chords, and also with some right hand uh, chords and, and stuff. And he was really following... Uh, wasn't him. only those two that was on the stage, or... Yeah. Was... I don't so think, they, uh, so the other uh, went backstage or what? Probably will be my guess because uh, he's not crediting uh, the bass and I don't see any bass. Uh, I didn't hear the only bass I hear was his left hand, so it makes sense to me. It, uh, it would also be a, a mess to have the bass in when no, you. No, I mean uh, if they were staying there or I they don't think so. The way I think uh, it wasn't the concert. It wasn't, but I think it was yeah a solo performance. Yeah, yeah so they uh, went backstage. Yeah, backstage. But was this after Wild Thing? Because no, it might be not. Because Wild Thing was the um, when were you, were they playing the song? What this song? Yeah, because Wild Thing was the last song yeah. uh, on this on the, on this concert when we see and you see Tim Barnes walking out before the song was was done. While we were saying it, he was rude and uh, drunk and stuff. We didn't knew him at that time, no. but he's a really good good guy. Yeah, but um, he was really drunk at this show actually. Yeah, a little. A little. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching this video. Um, as I said at the beginning, check Patreon out and uh, support us if you want. And you can also choose our next reaction. And of course, like, subscribe, and let us know anything you want to know. And uh, Simon Smith, if you're out there... Uh, so this, we don't read the pine comments more, we, we forget. But if you... Uh, Simon Smith, if you are uh, watching this... And of course we're gonna find man. But anyway, so thank you so much. A big shout out to to, to this uh, cameraman. Uh, yeah. Also for introduction, if, if you just were playing the video, we didn't, we'll we'll get it. So yeah, really we, nice. We, uh, he he was uh, taking uh, the journey with us. Uh, the introduction himself. Yeah. Uh, so we just will sit there. What's going on? Exactly. Also because it looks like uh, what I would call a bad angle uh, recording. It makes sense that. Uh, like I mean, I mean, it wasn't professional recording uh, from more angles, and yeah. it was a strange uh, angle that the we had. The big camera and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and it was shaking handhold. Uh, I think you call it that, right? You can see uh, the lights, uh, but especially also the way he is and stuff. Uh, and and this, it, it it's really not a. It looks like actually what you call a camera angle, uh, a mobile camera. Uh, yeah, a fan. Yeah, a fan. But uh, the sound is good. Yeah. So nothing there. Uh, so, so So um so no no uh, no um like uh, this is bad recorded just I was just confused about it I know it will be more if it wasn't for him showing up and saying what is this yeah so I'm just curious get the backstory then we understand what's Ephernal going on Infernal pictures okay so it's not himself I think Infernal pictures sounds like a company yeah I was going to say that um anyways thank you so much for watching and uh, we see you next time guys bye bye.